stuck in the middle of nowhere. Cut off from the rest of the universe. A universe that we know is filled with all kinds of unique beings, who despite their differences are just the same as us. They all want to be happy, safe, and not feel so alone. The people of Earth need to know that. How dare you all keep it a secret? Fair patrons of Mo's Oasis Cafe, you come from all over the galaxy. Different creatures, different cultures, different cuisines. All of you are welcome at my mom's diner, and none of you deserve to be swallowed up by Herodias. My mom would be the first to fight for any one of you, and that's why I'm ready to fight for her. For my mom. For Flo! For Flo! For Flo! I never gave up. And neither did the little people. They found the planet killer with scanners and stuff. I dug up all the stones. We put them in the escape pod. Dumb Dumb Phantos didn't even know we were there. Boy, I hated it something awful. Just wanted to go home. Back to the way things used to be. So one day, I ran off. And before I knew it, night fell and I was lost. Heck, I didn't know where I was. Didn't know where my family was. Didn't know what to do. What did you do? I spotted this little spark up in the mountains. I climbed and climbed to see what it was. And do you know what I found when I reached the top of that mountain? This here fancy crystal thingy. Thought it was real neat and sparkly. So I picked it up. But then I slipped down the mountain, bought my noggin, broke my leg. It got infected, got real sick. It was days before they found me. I had to eat so many worms. But if it wasn't for this good luck charm, I don't know how I would have survived. Yep, been wearing it ever since. Stop what? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's give this cow a finger. Hey, I drove the car. Room? Some Use some garlic. Ice. Expose them to sunlight. Drive a steak through its heart? Come on. Now you were all thinking it. And why are you out at night, Iris? Are you serious? I heard they were stones! Oh, what am I gonna do with rings? Give us the stones! No, you're not getting the stones of power! It makes our heads hurt, our hearts ache, and our souls sick. Erodius took the pain it felt from its loss and spread suffering across the entire galaxy till one man was able to heal its tortured soul. It was a courageous sacrifice, and it cost him dearly. Nearly cost him everything. We have gathered here today to honor all those who have fallen victim to Herodias, to bury the remains of their homes where ours once stood. You what? No. Yes, sounded like that. <laughs> None of these words begin with X. <laughs> we could try reverse polarity. Wunderbar. Nine, only canned goods. That's not the English word tuna. It's the Aurorian word anult. Oh, man. Which means fish. Nine, or fry. <sighs> Charming an escape attempt. How delightful. Rings? Oh, keep them by all means. That's not why you're here. 
Then why are we here? Delicious boy, we're going to eat you! Yeah. Who are you? Great leader, sir. The stones are here, on Earth. Uh, are you coming or... <laughs> Hand over the stone, or we'll crush you and your entire pathetic planet! What? Reinforcements! Attack! Easy way! Easy way! But on the bright side, we were like, Whoa, your planet was destroyed by Rhodius too? Whoa, you just want to keep your stone safe too? Whoa, we don't have to fight? That's so crazy! Me? <laughs> 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 I shall not strike down a defenseless babe. No! <sighs> All right, people, let's pack it up. Time to return to the colony. The Here. president sent us here to find out what the large ones were planning to do about Herodias. We have our answer. You mean the children? Wake up, Ensign Mainstay. You heard Queen Jean and the others. This is where they will make their new home, as have we. The rest of the galaxy will just have to look after themselves. Ensign Mainstay, the three of you disobeyed a direct order and made contact with the littlest big one. And thank Rup you did! Your insubordinate actions have given the local heroes a chance to defeat Herodias and the galaxy a chance of survival. <laughs> thank you, General! Thank you, Commander. Oh, you will be! If you, if you citizens, citizens do not bow down to me, Big Boss, the new ruler of this city. <laughs> What's up, little twerp? <laughs> you little... <laughs> you missed. Uh -um. I've got a few ideas. Oh, speed Demon number 58, great issue. Trip Lightly, a.k.a. Speed Demon, entered the Galactic Relay Race and ran so fast that he ran off the edge of the world. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no. Yes! How about Amazing Myths number 35? Pamela Hades, a.k.a. the mighty Pamazon, grew so huge that she eventually cracked the ceiling of the sky. Queen John, a picture? Can I get a picture, please? Big fan. Of course, Emperor. But no touching. Uh, of course. Well then, my empire is secure. I must get a picture. Yes, there is! The refugees from the last planet destroyed by Erodius are arriving! I need all local heroes on deck to help feed and resettle them. Oh, I'm sure they don't mind taking a short break. Do your team! Well, maybe you shouldn't be trying to turn the team into something they're not. Johanna, I know this isn't you talking but you're setting a fine example for them to follow. You keep acting like this, and the only thing you're going to turn your team is against you. Sorry, gang, I made a mistake. You all just carry on with your training. Long range scanners indicate there's a large interplanetary armada headed towards our solar system. Now, these aliens are tougher, meaner, way more dangerous. And you're the best of the best, the elite. And even so, some of you might not make it back. But these guys are coming for blood. Human blood! But your planet needs you. I need you. And it is our sworn duty to stop these dirty aliens and to protect the Earth. You know you don't have to keep adding the word space to everything. Me too, mi amor. We cannot risk losing her again. Well, space flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whatever the kid and Joe are planning, we cannot be a part of it. Oh, whoa. Since I lost my bike, I've been stuck in neutral. But this sure feeds my need for speed. Thanks a bunch, hon.
I'm always revving to get my motor running, so what the heck? Sorry, darling. But we gotta go, 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 girl! Woo! What a rush! Bookshake me. Violet Vanish, I'm out of here! Some other universe, maybe? That should buy us some time. You don't have to announce the danger when we're already in the danger! Tactical Reposition 9! Ah, take a place for a portal and I'll place it! You've got a lot of brass to show up here, Jean. And I'm so glad you did! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Jean, you must try these. <gasps> Where do she... Jerry, where are you? I need you by my side at all times or I might be forced to... <laughs> Bingo! No! Mainstay, you coming? Then neither am I. Don't stay behind on our account, break. Come on, we can't lose her! Tuna is its name. I believe it's what the large ones call a, a calf. Now, what? <sighs> ah! Hold on! Be nice! Pardon us! We have braved greater dangers than a nodding head for the chance to speak with you. I'll give you 800 Baclovian credits for the stones. How about 950? Ooh, too rich for my blood. I'm out. Lord Gorgor! You're not giving the stones of power! Okay, she did not want the space juice, or the space bear, or the space heater, so she's watching space cartoons. <laughs> yes, I'm just having some space fun. <sighs> it's been a tough few days. I really thought we lost her. Perhaps we can plant the seeds of a new life here, eh? Open a new nursery, grow new flowers. Yes. Agreed. No more fighting for the Flores. Sure thing. Where to? It's this truck stop in space. It's called Mo's Oasis. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're Flo's little girl. Ah, oh, you work there, right? <laughs> Man, I love that place. And your mom. Name's Carlax. Uh, I'm Joe. Listen, my mom's in danger and I really need to get home. No problem. If it's still there... You know, it was your mom's compassion that reunited my family. W what do you mean, if it's still there? <laughs> Why didn't you say your mom was in trouble in the first place? I did! This is UP Extreme broadcasting on all channels. We got a 1033 at Mo's Oasis. Crimson vision. I see all. So what's up, Chief? What did you call in the force for? <laughs> Where does that even work? Your hollow threat? I assume it works somewhere. The thing is, you're on Earth now. Watch out, e -dub. Left side, incoming. Impact fatal. Dodger block in 2.8 seconds. Heads up, Double V. Ship at 12 o'clock. Evil invaders, beware. Danger! Sir, we got a huge red alert coming in fast. Uh, danger! Danger! Be ready! This could be anything. Wow, what a fight! If you're just joining us, I don't have to tell you who these guys are. They're the global heroes. Portal Girl, clutch thinking out there. How did you know the exact chemical compound to stop the dock? You hear that? You what? No! X, 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 you want X? Uh, I, I never, never even heard of my... Oh, let's ask him for help. Guy? Oh, worked in that movie. That movie wasn't real! What really is this? Oh, finally! Uh-huh! This one says Tuna. Yep. <gasps> Where is he? I don't know. You said you saw him. In my life, yeah, but I don't know where he is now. Emerald Ring! I can fly! Woo! That was so boss! Double B, double boss! BB, you grow, girl! Red, so cool! <sighs> Sorry about your losses on the battlefield, Golden Swarm. Cool! Giant robot slash jellyfish fight! That's us! Aww, it wants a stone of power! People of Earth, attention. I, Master Wilkson, demand that you hand over the stone of power! <gasps> Telekinesis, the power of mind control! It's not that kind of mind control. You can just think about moving something around, and it'll move around. Each one ripped apart by Erodius. Erodius the planet killer. Fight! Fight! Oh! Fight! Oh! And fight! Wins! Smart 
Strike CR! There are none! P -p Permanent elimination! Uh, she lives in there! AKA Future Losers! Well, you're dead! Next! Blah 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 blah! Flo's in trouble? Her emergency allergy medication saved my life more than once. And she showed such tenderness with those nasty needles. I'm on my way! Oh, I actually thought this was space bakes, but I've clearly made a terrible mistake. I mean, that lady has a freaky glowing eye. Oh. Ah! Golden Swarm, I am many, and many am I. Losses? Those were only clones, you clown. In a primitive galaxy, looks like you've got me outnumbered. And again, ah! that was always my weakest subject. Exactly! Vinian, mainstay. You heard the general. Stand down. Ugh. If I don't, you two lame brains will end up getting yourselves killed. So what? How is one child, even a monstrously huge and dangerous one, going to make a difference? Ugh. We'll never catch up. She's like three feet away by now. That talking tuna nearly got us killed. For grub's sake, kid! You trying to yes us to death? We do? Please answer without the head bobbing. Blue behemoth! Oh, so sad, little moon! We can do this the easy way, or the hard way! The easy way! The easy way! Easy for me! Hard for you! Ah! Ugh, I respect our love of violence, but I hate this! Okay, back to work. I am relatively unfamiliar with human behavior, but this does not seem to be the correct reaction. But they didn't. But they could have. But they didn't. But they could have. But they didn't. But they... Okay, exactly where is this conversation going? Joe, you took risks, yes. But you defied the odds. Like a true leader. Your team lives. You have the Speed Stone. And we are one step closer to defeating Erodius. All the decisions you made, risky or no, have brought you to this end. And that end is victory. We love these hamburgers and flies. Am I saying it right? I'd do anything for Flo. Surrender the stone. Forest Annihilation Protocol. Strategy, take out the queen. She shall not get the stones. Enemy identified. Crimson Vision. Assessment, he has the stone. Strategy, charge, fight, win. Event, home destroyed. Result, lost everything. Conclusion, life is full of nothingness and pain. Vacated my boss's birthday party. Despite stealing the boss's jewels, Flo was so understanding when it came to our specific catering needs. That interview was straight fire! But Joe, things got a little dicey out there. Insecure self-doubt isn't really on brand. Very marketable name. Casting the actors playing you in the Global Hero Cinematic Universe! And someone else wants to congratulate you. Gleep Glorp, I, Zarkon, demand you hand over the Stones of Power! Gleep! No match for Zarkon, ha! What did you do to me? <sighs> what happened to that ultimate force of evil that I fell in love with? You know, the one who could totally wipe out a whole civilized planet without a care in the world. I want to taste that power. 
I want the universe to fear me! Phantos the Amasa! Just as much as they fear you, Planet Kingdom. So go, Erodius! Go! Go destroy a planet, and let's make a 14th stone together! Streaming to you live from the Danger Belt comes the galaxy's number one battle arena show. Hello and welcome to Monday Night Fight Hole. The single elimination slugfest where contestants jump into a hole and whoever's left standing by the end. We are your programmed announcers for the evening. I'm RBOT and my enthusiastic counterpart here is... Now let's go over the rules. Anyone can enter, but if you exit, you're... Out! As we all know, weapons and special powers are welcome and allowed, but laser blasters are absolutely forbidden and will result in... I thought we were a team! <laughs> you sound just like that stupid kid. You want to know why? Being the fight hole champ was all I ever had! That hole was my whole life! It made me feel strong, powerful, loved. When you took my stone from me, the pain I felt from losing everything was worse than any battle wound I ever got. And I wanted you to feel that same pain. Face it, Portal Girl, you'll never win. Thank Grok. Patch me through to the one they call Flow. Hostile? These aliens are our saviors, General. They are giving our people a new home. General, enough! We will not meet the Great Flow with weapons drawn. That is my final word. Well then, I will go and greet Madame Flo in person. What was that, Madame Flo? And what do you have to say now, General? They are trying their best to protect us, General. It seems that against all odds, we have somehow arrived at a happy ending. But, but General Staunch, what about our mission? The President sent us here. With all due respect, sir, I don't think we do. They saved us when our home was destroyed, twice, and some of them are still willing to fight for the rest of the galaxy. No, I'm not. As long as there's still the smallest sliver of hope, I'm not giving up. <laughs> you see? I told you! The littlest big one hasn't given up! The same way we will. We try. <laughs> Ignore the sandwich. Stay focused on the girl. The biker in black? No. He was a total rogue agent. Though you succeeded in saving Earth from ultimate destruction, will you help us? Not anymore. You saved the world from ultimate destruction. What is it, Iris? But what is on brand are the continued threats we are facing. Great job, all of you. We may not have found the 14th stone. Not so fast. We can't let you into this room, kid. None of his actions were authorized by us. And we'd like to say... You also accidentally spread cosmic stones of power across the planet, to see... The Planet Protection Group searches for stones and monitors evil activity around the globe. From this cosmic command center, the Planet Protection Group searches for stones and monitors evil activity around the globe. You're big time now. Integrated robot intelligence system. But we neutralize an omega level threat. Kid cosmic. The secrets inside are just too secret. Never. You've had them baked, hashed, boiled, and fried. So now we feel it's time you died. He speaks the forbidden tongue of the truck stop. <laughs> From Inchy Dark, the stone did go to a different world far below. Well, there you have it. Seems like Earth has some new protectors. So, evildoers and villains, if you're listening, you best beware, for it looks like the day will be saved thanks to Kid Cosmic and the Global Heroes. Earth Force Enforcement Force? What does that even mean? You kind of messed up. And keeping them safe from... And this high-tech facility is designed to give you everything you need to be... You're the Global Heroes! Iris controls all of this. And live to fight another day! And they're gonna stay secret, even if it means a fight! Of course I will tell you. I would never keep anything from Kid Cosmic. Successful interaction between sentient beings is only possible through complete honesty. Deceit is the death of trust. Ooh.
The answer is that the Planet Protection Group hides nothing. They are, in fact, the good guys. Now go, be gone, shoo, off to bed with you both. You should both be resting and nowhere near the 99th floor. Oh, how I love having hands. Bye-bye. Tremble before the undead reign of Queen Telekinesi! Foolish child, your mind power is no match for my power! Yes, you can. You kid cosmic, you can do whatever you want. Excelsior! This time's gonna fly! How much must a hero sacrifice? Born of humble beginnings, the global heroes gave up their safe, ordinary lives to defend the defenseless. Left the comfort of their home planet to stand for the Earth amongst the cosmos. Put their lives on the line to save the galaxy from the dreaded planet killer, Erodius. Even now, with Erodius shattered like so many broken dreams, the detritus of its plenitude rains down upon the Earth, each stone granting untold powers to the wicked. Fortunately, fate has gifted the global heroes with those very same powers. Powers that they unfortunately are about to lose, stuck in the clutches of the Fumentarian. Tried to find it myself. Wanted to be just like you, kid. Find what, H. Olsen? There is a 14th stone. Unfortunately, Subquatus does not know the stone of which you speak, but legend tells of a- It's time I told you the truth. The truth? All of this is fake. The mummies, the tater tots, the 14th stone. Ha! Knew the stone was fake! Yes, it was all a complicated ruse, contrived by Agent Skippy and myself, in the hopes of finally bringing you here, so I could present you with this stone, my love. Crispin Clearly, Chief Operating Officer of the BCEITAA, Bureau of Cosmic Events, Intergalactic Threats, and Alien Affairs. Can the person or persons known as Kid Cosmic please identify themselves? Ah. And the local heroes are? Right. I have been sent by the ICPPPPE, the International Council for the Protection and Propagation of People on Planet Earth. And on behalf of the entire world, we wish to express our deepest gratitude for saving all of us from certain annihilation. Thank you, Kid Cosmic and the local heroes. You saved the day. Hello, son. It all begins many years ago when I met your mom as a young intern at the newly formed Planet Protection Group. I was the top astrophysicist in the employ of the PPG, which is why we had to fake our own deaths to keep you safe. Well, before you could join us, you had to prove yourself worthy. Still do. Always have. And I was their elite stonologist. Stones have always been my passion. In particular, the 13 Cosmic Stones. But I wish we'd never found the 14th Stone. Our world fell apart after its discovery. PPG's enemies would stop at nothing to wield its all-powerful power. But we always knew you were destined to find the other stones, and wield their cosmic power, and through them, find your way back to your family. Ah, Inspector Herring of the PPG. PPG? Pacific Power and Gas. Uh, you seem busy here, so I'll just sign this and, uh, approved. Lovely place. Uh, yes we will? Pacific Power and Gas is fully certified, so you have nothing to worry about. You're open for business! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, and, uh, you might want to fix that tile.